Hello and welcome, I am Count Cristo and this is the Pax Americana Kaiserreich patch. It's, uh, it's finally here, there's heaps of new focus trees and significantly for this campaign, the United States has a new focus tree and as do all of the four different people that can split out once the United States splits into civil war. So in this campaign we're going to be uh, taking charge of these United States and we're going to be picking a side in the civil war. If you're unfamiliar you have the uh, American Union Party, the South, basically, these areas here, will rise up under a uh, paternal autocratic government. The North will rise up under the combined syndicates of America. Some of the United States will remain the United States, and the Pacific United States will rise up uh, in independence. Various of those factions can go various ways, because Kaiserreich is fantastic and has loads of different options and branching paths. We today, comrades, are going to be taking the role of the United Syndicate Syndicalists of America. So we're going to have this area here, and uh, I think we get New York as well. This area may or may not get seized by Canada, and if it does, I have a feeling Canada will fear our retribution. But uh, yeah, so we're going to we're going to take the role of the proletariat, and we're going to see what we can do to restore workers' rights in the U.S. Should be should be good fun. So. This is the US focus tree, but once we become the United Syndicalists, we're going to get a new focus tree, so we don't really have to worry about this too much. I'm not going to be super gamey and uh, disband the US's army. I am going to, uh, let's say the US is scared, and so they are, uh, oops, I'm unpaused. Thank you, guys, right team. Great job. I want to know everything, of course. Let's say that the United States is, they're scared. They know that revolution is in the air, shall we say, and so they're going to uh, pull back all their ships. To Washington, they're going to centralize the army here and prepare to weather the storm. In terms of factories, I'm going to not be super gamey. The gamey thing to do is you just build all the factories in the area that you know you're going to control. Instead of doing that, I'm going to build factories, sorry, infrastructure, all along the east coast. Some of this we will control, some of this we won't control, so this seems like a fair and sensible thing to do. We're just, you know, generally industrializing the east coast. Military factories wise, uh, again, this won't be the country that we actually are, so this the things I'm setting up here don't particularly matter. But I'm going to do something fairly sensible, not try and, you know, muck up the US too much. We do get, any research that I complete, we do get when we begin playing. So I am going to take some standard research, it's there. Three dockyards, let's just power out a bunch of convoys, I think, that seems fine. They have a much bigger navy than us, so that's not, uh, not at all a problem. And without further ado, the United States hangs in the balance. Lots of negative political power. Oh yes, I need to, I already did the Navy, but the Air Force just needs disbanding. So I'm going to role play the United States a bit, so as to avoid myself taking the, the options that I know will benefit me as the CSA more. So I'm going to role play slightly as if the United States are terrified of revolution and they're going to do everything they can to centralize power, but the people are in favor of syndicalism. So that's how I'm going to pick the, uh, the choices in the various events we'll get before we become CSA. There's going to be a fair amount of Speed 5 here at the beginning, just as we get to the Civil War. America in 1936. The United States in 1936 stands in crisis. The United States was able to escape in the First World Krieg, which allowed its prosperity to continue well into the 1920s. However, the victory by the German Empire and the French and later British revolutions would lead to the Wall Street Crash. Ah! Uh, Wall Street crash of 1925. This sent the United States into the Great Depression and allowed the Berlin stock market to take its place in the world. Go away. <laughs> the election of Herbert Hoover in the 19 in 1928 pro showed promise showed promise of fixing America. However, Hoover was unable to fix the problem fix the problems of the depression. This fueled the rise of radical parties in America, like the Combined Syndicates of America, whoop, on the far left, and the American First Party in the far right, boo. The fact that Hoover won re-election by the House of Representatives in 1932, and the fact that the Great Depression isn't over, means that the problems are not going away soon. Many throughout the country fear that disaster should happen. If one of the should one of the extreme parties come into power, or nothing is done to solve the depression, well, I can say this: it will be a disaster. For all those who oppose the workers, looking at you, en tant with your king over there. So, low party popularity. That's fine. It's because we are market liberals, and they are not very popular. Syndicalists, the paternal autocrats, and the social liberals all have quite a uh, serious thing. One of those events that I clicked away was the profits from legation cities. If you're not familiar, at the end of the First World War in this timeline, these cities were set aside for uh, 
Western trade and they're guaranteed, well, theoretically guaranteed, they're not actually guaranteed. I imagine there'll be a patch which will give more focus trees over here and maybe make this happen. But their independence and prosperity is guaranteed by strong trade relations with all of the victors of the First World War. So lots of big nations get this profits from negation cities modifier, which is fantastic. And Qing, unfortunately, has a focus to uh, attack the ports, which gets rid of that modifier, which is why everyone hates Qing, basically. All right, cool, back to speed five. Oh yes, the other thing that we uh, skipped over while I was reading that introduction is that uh, the president of Russia just got assassinated, so interesting times over there. Black Monday! On the 3rd of February 1936, good lord, <laughs> the Berlin Stock Exchange stopped sinking, it plunged, fooled by the instability of the market panic, selling erupted as soon as the market opened on Monday morning. So, there's been a huge market crash, and this is odd, because this event says Black Monday hits America, right? Should give us a national spirit. The Great Depression... This is not our year. Oh, it does work. I thought this didn't work because it didn't give me a new modifier. It just makes this modifier even worse. So we were recovering from the Great Depression, but now Black Monday's come along. It starts getting even worse. I don't have a National Focus set because uh, there isn't a National Focus that we can take right now. Lots of these have requirements. This one we'll be able to do soon. This one you can do later. These ones, I think, the Civil War... Yeah, the Civil War has to have fired or been avoided for that to happen. We're obviously not going to avoid the Civil War. Vice President Curtis has recovered from from his uh, illness, but he's still ill. That's unfortunate. World premiere of the modern times. Charlie Chaplin has re released a video in favour of uh, fine syndicalists. Go, Charlie Chaplin. Battle of the Overpass. So they've... Uh, the military stepped in and violently oppressed some workers. How dare they? Okay. Unfortunately, there will be a, just a little bit of speed fiving here at the beginning. But that's... I'm sure we can we can manage. We're going to get uh, disaster triggering soon because we're at such low political power. Well, not disaster, but very low stability, which is going to get rid of all our factories. So I'm just doing a bit of infrastructure building. When you have a bad economy law, incidentally, see this gives you a penalty to military, military factory construction speed, but it doesn't give you any penalty to infrastructure. So early game, it's often a very good idea to build infrastructure because that gives, then gives you the boost to military factory construction. It's always handy. It's the 100th anniversary of the Alamo. Remember the Alamo. That was the uh, one of the pivotal battles, I believe, in the Texan War of Independence from Mexico. Downfall instability. So we're going to go down to low or very low? Just low so far. It'll go down to very low soon, I imagine. We are on... Oh, St. Patrick's Day Flood. Right, so role-playing the, you know, the guys... Where is Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh. Right, so Pittsburgh is in the um, CSA Heartland up here. So we are going to, they will have to help themselves because we're role-playing a government that hates the CSA and hates this northern area because they're all communists. Okay. What was I saying? Make some more independence? Oh okay, yes, so that's one of the threats we will face. We're going to want to win the civil war as soon as possible because Mexico gets an event where they can declare war and try and seize back their old areas from the USA. And we definitely want to prevent them from doing that, if at all possible. We'd be able to reclaim it if we had to, but I really don't want them to get these Texan oil fields because they'll be lovely for us to have. Okay, I'm not going to train any more guys, I don't think. The Indian Citizenship Act. Veto the bill, because we are role-playing as a nasty authoritarian government which doesn't care about the people, so we just vetoed a bill to make Native Americans full citizens. Downfall and stability. Very low stability. Oh yes, we should put uh, MacArthur in charge. The MacArthur is the... Uh, Guy who got in charge of the military at the moment. He is very much anti-syndicalist, so it could be interesting. Okay, let's merge up the fleets. Increase in stability, huzzah. Won't, it won't help, I'm afraid. So what's going on uh, in the rest of the world? Let's have a look while we're just speed fiving here. Union of Britain. Ooh, I haven't seen this guy, I don't think. Arthur Horner. Good lord, that's a long bio. <laughs> Arthur Horner is in there. It looks like they have good relations with the Commune de France, so I imagine they'll join. <clears throat> German Empire is uh, looking fairly standard. Which way is Russia gone? Who's this guy again? Peter. Ooh. Antagonistic with Finland, it looks like. Baron Stokes Mortar, basic machine tools. Let's get some more. Ooh, just pause there for one moment. Set these uh, techs going. Uh, radar. Oh, sorry, radio. excuse me, is a, uh, a good one. The Trial of Sanko and Vanzetti. Okay, so, unsurprisingly, CSA came out strongly in favour of the two men, while the American first came out against them. 
Okay, so we're going to say that they are innocent uh, on the basis that this isn't like a government decision. This is a judge's decision. And the judges and the people are all on the side of the CSA. So we're going to rule in favor of these two who are uh, anarchists in favor of the CSA. So that makes CSA more popular. Not the CSA, but the, uh, the syndicalists more popular. So they almost have a majority now. And of course they can partner up with the radical socialists and the totalists, although there are an extremely small number of totalists. The death of Pius XI. Down for instability again. The Olympics begin. It's going to give us a bunch of political power. Polish military seizes control. There's a Polish focus tree now. Hey, Jesse Owen wins two gold medals. Nice. So there's uh, going down the military route. This is the route I like best for uh, the Polish focus tree. It does work well. The Arab Congress. So the Axis is about to form down here. It's uh, Arabia, Egypt, and Persia team up on the these guys. Oh god, a heat wave. At least we won the Olympics. The great heat wave of 36. This just isn't our year. It really isn't, is it? Heat wave doesn't give you a modifier, though, so it's not as bad. The death of Alexander Berkman. Today, the writer leader of the American anarcho syndicalist movement and the would be assassin passed away after losing his battle with a prostate condition. So he's died, and now John Jack Reed takes up the syndicalist torch. It's the 4th of July, and Gone with the Wind got published. Cool. Gives us a bit more political power there. Uh, what else should I research? Better artillery. Why not? No, I don't. There we go. <laughs> okay. Civil War is uh, not far away now. Edward sends a letter to Hoover. So Edward is basically sending a letter to Hoover saying, control the radical no uh, factions within your country, or uh, you might have to step in. That's interesting. That, uh, that could mean he's going to declare war on the CSA. <laughs> Should be interesting. They have these focuses to intervene in the war, and I think they will always take this one because if they stay uh, democratic or they social conservative. I think if they're social conservative, they always take this one. They can also take this one, I think. Yeah. No, they have to be paternal autocrats for that one. And for this one, they have to be populists or paternal autocrats. autocrats. Increase disability. We're back up to low stability. Nice. Have I got enough men to deploy another division? Russian Republic. Ooh. Russian Civil War. So the Soviet Union is now at war with Russia. And they're much smaller. But they have equal military factories. And sometimes the Don Caban Union and Finland join in on the side of Russia. Ooh, it looks like Russia made concessions to Finland there. Now that's interesting. I haven't seen that happen. Peaceful concessions from Russia to Finland. And now Finland is supporting them in a lend lease. Interesting. Great heat waves over. Good. So Finland's managed to make some very early expansions. They don't have a focus tree yet. I look forward to uh, them. And Norway don't either, do they? I look forward to Finland and Norway getting focus trees. That'll be fun. So it's going to be a hard-fought war here, but the Russians will probably win. Especially since they're not at war with Finland. Often the Russians end up at Finland during this period. So yeah, they are outnumbered. Ooh, but there goes Siberia, declaring independence. And declaring war on the Soviet Union. Oh no, they're a puppet. I see, I see. But that does reduce their military factories a lot. If the Soviet Union could just stall them, eventually the Russians are going to run out of equipment. Ooh, and they also... They also peacefully gave land to the Donkovan Union. So the Russian Empire is... Uh, sorry, the Russian Republic giving away land left, right, and center. That's really interesting. I haven't seen this before. I love this mod. There's so many different things that can happen. Okay. But much more importantly to our campaign, the political and social consensus in American society has broken down, and the current present presidential election is nothing like we have ever seen. The American First Union Party is organizing right-wing militias in the South and Midwest, and syndicalists control the streets of Chicago and Detroit. To avoid a complete breakdown of our society, some of our senior military commanders believe that it may be necessary to suspend the Constitution and cancel the election. What a terrible idea. The elections must go ahead. So that uh, sets that focus done. And then in a moment, I think Reed might, uh, might have a chance at winning this election. Back up to average stability. Good. What could go wrong? I don't actually know how you avoid the Civil War. I imagine... I think you just take the other one. If you have the military step in, you can avoid the Civil War, I think. Done radio. Let's get going on some of these. Although I don't imagine all of these texts will have time to finish. Rangoon University. I should know this, but... Where is Rangoon? Rangoon... Not one that you can search. I'll probably set it in here, to be honest. 
It's in Burma. Okay, cool. It's protests in the Rangoon in favor of syndicalism against this queen here. Well, the authoritarian Democrat. I assume she's something like a queen. Yeah, HRH. That's probably Her Royal Highness. Seek aid from Britain. Interesting. The uh, American sub... Sorry, the American... The Indian subcontinent is one we shall certainly be visiting. All these guys have focus trees now. Do let me know which part of India you'd like to see me play. I believe they all have... Yeah, they all have focus trees now. So, do let me know where you want me to play. Probably not Madras. But, uh... Okay, here we are. The 1936 presidential election. Election? Election? <laughs> The results are finally in from what probably has been the most ideologically contested presidential election the United States has ever witnessed. This is probably not the end of our problems, but for the time being, we'll let the victory goes to Jack Reed, combined syndicalists of America. CSA becomes a ruling party. Public elections will not be held. Boom. So, we're still the US, uh, and now the syndicalists have by far the majority, 42%. Well, sorry, they don't have the majority. They have the largest party. And there we go. Which bypasses this focus and allows us to take this Labour Relations Act, which helps with the Civil War. Or the Civil War? The uh, Great Depression. The American First contests the election results. How dare they? It was democratic. Probably. The American First leadership has contested the results of the election. They suspect that Reed has rigged the election and they demand a recount. Dare they? Average popularity. Good. So up from low there. Give me some more political power. Not that it matters, again, because we are not intending to say the United States for very much longer. Long establishes the Minutemen as a paramilitary force. How dare they? Sullying our independence, uh, our, the army of our independence movement from the British to turn against syndicalism. How dare they? Although, to be fair, Britain is currently syndicalist, so there's something to that, perhaps. Let's, uh, let's ahead of time start on these texts. I think that's often a good idea. Start those at that particular time in the uh, research about November here. They're so the, the industry techs are so much more important than almost every other tech that it's often often worth it. Maybe we can make some kind of compromise with the United Mexican States, considering they are uh, they are syndicalist. Well, they're totalist, so they're also uh, socialists. President Hoover criticizes Reed. He doesn't matter anymore. Is right. I suspect the South is likely to cause trouble. Hmm. Hmm. That's true. Actually, now we are. Uh, we are no longer concerned about civil war in general. We're now the syndicalists. We're worried about the South. So let's just send our troops to the South. I've no idea if this makes any difference at all, but let's send some troops to militarize the South. That seems good. Okay. And have the Air Force uh, garrison nearby to the South as well. Standing ready to uh, hold down the Unionists. The Unionists? What are they called? The... No. No. Who are they? There they are. The America First Party. <clears throat> Long Southern Rally. In protest of the election results, the America First and Long launched a massive rally for support of America's First. This is going to cause a problem. You're probably right. The inauguration. Let the people rejoice. No plus political power. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> Tibet has capitulated. I guess McLeek and Mongolia are at it, yep. Yeah, so garrison some troops in the south, but we have a very small army. Violence in St. Louis. I imagine that's in the south. I can't tell me where St. Louis is. Where's St. Louis? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know. Excuse my lack of American geography. But there's some violence in St. Louis. Not long after Reed's speech, there was an outburst of violence in St. Louis as members of the American First clashed with CSA officials. Ugh, oh, terrorists. Send the militia. Next focus, Social Security. After the passage of the Labor Relations Act, Jack Reed set his sight on creating Social Security for more All-Americans. In contrast to the Labor Relations Act, this has been met with criticism by even some of the progressive wings. There's still plenty of support. Alright, since Social Security sounds good, let's set that up. Quite a bit of world tension. How's it going over here? Downfall and stability again. Russia is holding. Haiti goes to war with the Dominican Republic. Should be a fairly close fought war. Three and two troops. Mountains if you wanted to try and push in here. Well, actually, only mountains in the north. Just desert there. But plains here. Hmm. My money's on the Dominican Republic, but we'll see. Okay, Canada massing troops on my border. I'm not... 
not overjoyed with that. By that. Which focuses have they taken? They went the constitutional side of uh, C7. Interesting, which means I'm pretty sure they're going to do support Washington. Although it will take them 140 days to get there. And then 70 days to get there. So it's going to take them, you know, 280 days to get all the way down to intervention. So I'm not that concerned. I think we probably win by then. Crisis on the Danube. Austrian, Austrian Empire declares war on Hungary. Interesting. And then the Italian Federation. Italian Federation. Their social security. All right, let's get nationalize the resources. Reason syndicalists are determined to push it through. Let's go. Valentine's Day explosion. Disastrous. A ship explodes in New York docks only minutes after entering it. Which unfortunately, they suspected this contained large amounts of... Uh, Weapons being smuggled in to help the CSA. I don't know why we're smuggling them in. We're the authority figures here. So, uh, people are unhappy about that. Lows disability. The Southern Trade Unions. Reed wanted to remove the power of the America first by transferring power to the Southern Trade Unions. We're going to send the militia in to protect the trade unions. Get stuffed south. We're sending everyone we can in. Spread out a bit more. Alright, so cross your fingers. Uh-oh. I was crushing my fingers that this didn't happen. Militias failed to restore order. The relatively disorganized rabble proved nearly useless at restoring order. Then we're going to send the army. Come on. I've sent the militias. Now I've sent the army. Surely we can handle it. Republic of Korea declared war on the Emperor of Japan. This shouldn't be a problem for Japan. Okay. MacArthur refuses to send in the army. How dare you? Let's remove him from office. He's enraged that he's refused his orders. Damn right we're removing MacArthur. What? MacArthur removes Reed from office. In order to remove MacArthur, it was received by MacArthur as he was marching on the White House to remove Reed. With no ability to stop MacArthur, Reed was forced to escape sh to Chicago and mobilize the CSA. Bloody MacArthur, indeed. Ugh, long live MacArthur. Hardly think so. So MacArthur just seized power and held and uh, has ceased elections and suspended the Constitution. How dare he? which case the military is going to go back to its uh, protect Washington protocols, I think. The end of American democracy. Surprising events have arrived. Surprising news has arrived from the United States of America today. President Ho Herbert Hoover, whose administration has proven to be incapable and calming down, has invited General Douglas MacArthur to take the reins of the country. That's not quite right. <laughs> it was Reed, and he was violently overthrown by Arthur. How dare he? Well, too right, Reed declares workers' state, rise of the CSA. White syndicalists of America have seized the major cities and declared independence from the United States of America. The rising has begun. Stand by the workers. And there we are. The independent combined syndicalists of America stand on the very precipice of war with the United States. We tried to be reasonable. We won a free and fair election. We began implementing some sensible communist policies. And yet, MacArthur nevertheless illegally and unconstitutionally seized control of the country and in the next episode we shall show him the wrath of the combined syndicalists of america sorry syndicate syndicates of america and uh, show him what a terrible mistake he has made but until then thank you so much for watching and i shall see you next time bye bye